Animal Charity Evaluators, or ACE, is a group that claims to review organizations for effectiveness, then they promote those charities and ask people to financially support them. ACE awards three organizations top charity status. This positioning is incredibly lucrative, as top charities get the most money donated to them. From its inception to the time of this video, only four groups have been awarded top charity status. All of them are related to an animal rights activist named Nick Cooney. This includes Mercy for Animals, where he is executive vice president, the Humane League, where he is the founder and board chair, and the Good Food Institute, where he was co-founder and board chair. The fourth group to achieve top charity status was Animal Equality. Nick Cooney not only helped design Animal Equality's literature, but the founder of the group, Sharon Nunes Gao, is an international publisher for Cooney's book. Top charity status is a fiscal designation and is potentially worth millions of dollars in donations. Considering there are 20,000 humane organizations in existence, it made no sense that only those groups either founded by or having a financial relationship with Nick Cooney were chosen for that highly profitable top charity status. Shark reached out to Ace with our concerns. To its credit, Ace engaged in a dialogue with us that spanned four letters and a Skype video call. We've put the letters online for public review. According to Ace's website, only 21 groups, an infinitesimal fraction of the groups working for animals, have received a comprehensive evaluation. What is shocking and disturbing is that 14 of the 21 groups selected by ACE for the prized comprehensive review have a conflict of interest with ACE personnel or board members. It is clear to us that these organizations were given preferential treatment due to those personal relationships. It is our position that it was unethical for ACE to have promoted these pre-selected organizations while countless other animal groups were not because they didn't have some kind of relationship with someone at ACE. ACE has acknowledged there are conflicts, but they contend that being transparent negates any unethical activity. This claim, however, is flawed. As an example, when President Trump admitted he had fired the former FBI director because of the Russian investigation, he was being very transparent. However, that did not erase any potential unethical behavior. ACE also put deceiving information on their GuideStar page. They claimed that in 2016 they quote, conducted evaluations of over 300 animal charities. However, when we go back to their website, we see that the total number of charities they have reviewed is a third less than that. Out of that 205, an astounding 117 supposed reviews consisted of a website link and nothing more. These were just padding to make it look like they were reviewing a variety of groups when the reality is they focus on those they pre-selected to promote. We were surprised to find ourselves on ACE's list, but that feeling immediately turned to horror when we saw that ACE considered Ducks Unlimited to be an animal protection organization. Ducks Unlimited is responsible for the slaughter of hundreds of thousands, if not millions of ducks every year. And they have held live pigeon shoot fundraisers where innocent pigeons are thrown into the air and shot for fun. And we know this because Shark has fought against Ducks Unlimited and filmed their slaughter. Ducks Unlimited is a brutal and disgusting organization, yet Ace lists them as being general animal welfare and wild animal rescue and shelter that ACE claims to be all about science, yet they didn't have the basic intelligence to do a simple Google search that would have shown them that Ducks Unlimited was pro-hunting and killing is not only an insult to anyone who cares about animals, but it shows how incompetent, inept, and what a sham ACE's reviews are. After viewing all the evidence and arguments from ACE, it is our opinion that ACE is not an objective charity evaluator, but one created to funnel money to certain pre-selected organizations involving one individual.
Ace repeatedly tried to downplay Mr. Cooney's relationship to the group when we communicated with them. Subsequent to those conversations, however, we discovered that Mr. Cooney does in fact hold a position within Ace. Ace has a program called the Animal Advocacy Research Fund, which grants money for research projects. There is an oversight committee for the fund. Nick Cooney is a member of it. As bad as it is that Cooney holds a position with Ace, Mercy for Animals received money from Ace and their oversight committee on which its executive vice president was a member. As ethically problematic as that is, the greater significance is that all this washes away Ace's protestations that Mr. Cooney is not deeply involved with the group. And it goes further to show how Ace favored Mr. Cooney and his interests. Harrison Nathan is a whistleblower who used to volunteer for the Humane League. Mr. Nathan quit once he realized that the science the Humane League and Ace used to make their claims and reviews were inaccurate and deceptive. Um, I did eventually come to the point of view that um, they were causing real harm by um, not just by deceiving donors, um, but by influencing people to believe that uh, a, a, you know, their methods were effective when in all likelihood I, I realized they probably were not. The Open Philanthropy Project recently gave a $500,000 grant to ACE. However, they wrote a damning criticism of ACE stating that they had used a quote, reliance on low quality research, low quality data, and that they had reservations about the level of vetting ACE applies to charities' claims about themselves. In other words, the public may very well have been deceived into donating potentially millions of dollars based on bad science and self-made claims. All of this and more disqualifies ACE as being an objective evaluator, and it shatters the facade they have created. Why then did Open Philanthropy give ACE half a million dollars, even after identifying their serious weaknesses and inaccuracies? It's because they love the concept of what ACE promotes, which is called effective altruism. Effective altruism is supposed to be about supporting groups who save the most lives with the most efficient use of money. It sounds good, except that it does not work at all with animal issues. We will explain this in detail and the danger it represents to the animal protection movement in a future video. Shark strongly suggested reforms to ACE. To summarize, they would have to disallow recommendations for any group where an ethical conflict exists such as Mr. Cooney's organizations, and offer reviews and a fair chance at receiving recommended status for any animal charity that requested it, and apologize for the unfair and unscientific methods by which organizations were chosen. We at Shark have removed ourselves from any such consideration to avoid any possible ethical issues. Regrettably, ACE representatives have rejected every suggestion. If donors to animal causes really want their money to be used for good, they need to stop being swayed by sales pitches, fads, and marketing schemes. We encourage you to only donate to groups that you have found to be truly effective at helping animals and to ignore the unscientific and biased recommendations given by animal charity evaluators. This is Stuart Chaffetz for showing animals respect and kindness.